Hi everyone, this is your Mars Hill Latin Translation uh, lecture for the 25th of March. Uh, so what I thought I would do, uh, there we go, is to review uh, everything we've got so far in Cicero and to do this week's translation work. I will send out a homework assignment instead of a quiz for this week. Um, and I think this little passage is going to be, has been probably a bit difficult. So I'm going to um, just kind of show you how to translate it in this video today, as well as a review. This will be useful, hopefully, when you go to take your test on this passage, uh, because you'll have this resource to review with. Okay, so starting at the beginning, let's review some things. So, Talis Egitor Interviros. Amicitia tantas opportunitates habet quantas vix queo decre. Okay, so remember, uh, according to your note, um, interviros uh, talis is uh, uh, literally it's among such men, talis viros, such men. Um, but here, uh, the text reminds us that it's good men. And that's just uh you couldn't know that except from context of the the context of the passage which we don't have so among good men or among such men therefore igitur uh friendship offers now habet is literally has um but with opportunitates uh, offers is going to be a better a better english for that so among such men, therefore, friendship offers tantas opportunitates, so such uh, benefits, such advantages. Uh, opportunities is fine, but I think advantage is the best translation here. And a hobbit offers. So offers such advantages, so such great advantages, tantas. Quantas vix such great advantages that I can queo, which is like possum. Remember to look up the principal parts for queo. So such great opportunities or advantages that I can vix digre. I can hardly say or speak about them. Vix uh, apparently is not one that you all have been familiar with from previous years. So Vix is hardly, scarcely, it's an adverb. Make sure you add that to your flashcards of your vocab. Okay. Principio, qui potest esse vita vitalis ut ait enius, quae non inamici mutua benevolentia conquiescit. Okay. In the first place, principio. Now, qui here, um, we have a note on the other side of the page that this means is used as the adverb how, even though this is generally the relative pronoun who. So in the first place, how can potest life, vita, be worth living, um, vitalis, worth living? Now notice SA is completing possess here. How can life be uh, worth living, and it's specifically a life. So, how can a life be worth living? Ut ait enius, as enius says, quae non in amici mutua bono valentia conquiescit. So, which now here that signals the beginning of a relative clause here. So, which non conquiescit, which does not rest. In amici mutua benevolentia. So notice mutua benevolentia is the object of in. So which does not rest in the mutual goodwill benevolentia from bene plus volens, willing well, well willing. So goodwill. Which does not rest in the mutual goodwill of a friend. Uh, I think some people were tempted to say in mutual friendship or something like that, but notice the uh, genitive singular ending, amici, of a friend. All right, keep going here. 
quid dulcius quam habere, quicum omnia audea sic loqui ut tecum. Okay. What quid, what is sweeter? So dulcius, remember, is a comparative form, uh, meaning sweeter. So it's a comparative adjective. What is sweeter than to have uh, someone with whom you may dare, audeas, with whom you may dare, uh, see colloquy, so to speak everything, or to say everything, omnia, as if uh, as you were alone, or as you were with yourself, take whom with yourself. So, what is sweeter than to have someone with whom you may dare to speak just as if you were with yourself? Or to dare to speak everything just as if you were with yourself or with, alone. Um, okay, so notice here, uh, quicum again is introducing a relative clause here, a relative clause of characteristic because... We have the subjunctive verb audeos, present active subjunctive. Make sure you know your principal parts for this word, as well as loqui. Okay. Qui eset tantus fructus in prosperis rebus, nisi haberes qui illis aeque actu ipse gauderet. Okay, here's another um, question. All right, qui here again is going to mean how. We have a note again about it in your book. So how could uh, your enjoyment, fructus, be so great, tantus, in prosperis rebus, in uh, successful things, in prosperous things? Nisi, which means unless, unless... Haberes, you have uh, qui, somebody who gauderet in, uh, rejoices illis in them and then aeque actu ipse. So some someone who himself rejoices in these things, illis, as much as you. Aeque actu equally to you. Notice here, um, with this nisi, you have to have your subjunctive. So we have haberes as an uh, imperfect subjunctive, as well as uh, gaudaret. Right. And uh, maybe fructus is going to be a little bit tricky to remember. Fructus is fruit. True, it's fruit. Um, but here, enjoyment. All right. Adversas vero ferre difficile eset, sine eo qui illas gravius etiam quam tu ferret. Okay. Uh, indeed, vero, indeed, adversity or difficult things, adversas, would be difficult, difficile eset, to uh, carry or to bear. Okay, that's the present active infinitive. Remember to memorize those principal parts of Pharaoh also. And this is a complementary infinitive with difficile est. So, indeed, adversities uh, would be, or difficult things would be, or, sorry, uh, adversities would be indeed difficult to bear. Okay, sine eo, without him, qui, who, Ferret uh, carries them, ilas, more um, heavily, gravius, again, a comparative form, more heavily, even etiam, than you, quam too. Let me do that one more time. Uh, so, indeed, vero, difficult, or er, adversities uh, would be difficult to bear without him who carries, or who, who would carry them, ilas, more gravely even than you. Okay? Alright, so next sentence. 
Danny que quedre res quae expetuntur, opportunae sunt singulae rebus fere singulis. Okay, and I'll pause there. And this is your new new material from this last week. So, Danny que quedre res quae expetuntur. All right. Uh, denique, something like, moreover, okay? Moreover, ketrae res, other things, uh, quae expetuntur, expetuntur is, uh, is uh, desire, seek after. Um, so, res quae expetuntur is uh, things which are sought after, Okay. So, moreover, things, other things which are sought after sunt opportunae, singulae, are useful opportunae, from opportunus aum. So, are useful uh, singulae, so singly, um, for things altogether individual. So, that's kind of tricky there. Singulae, uh, or sorry, not singulae. Rebus ferre singulis, things, rebus, so f- useful for things. Uh, ferre is uh, almost often, um, but here probably something like altogether, things altogether individually. So the point here is that everything, he's what he's saying, and he's going to give us a list. All these things are useful uh, individually for individual things. So, um, he's going to say that money is useful for spending, uh, honor for, um, being praised, all these other things. Um, and that's sort of the point of this little clause here. Notice again, we have another relative clause, so I want you to be able to identify those. Okay, so what is this list? Uh, divitiae ut utare, opes ut culare. Honores ut laudere, voluptates ut gaudeas, valetudo ut dolore careas et muneribus fungere corporis. Amicitia res plurimas continet. Okay, so here we're setting um, amicitia against all of these other things. All these other things are used specifically for one thing alone. So, uh, divitiae ut, utare. Now, uh, we have some strange forms here. Um, your note tells you that utare is actually utaris, and you have to supply eis. So, ut, uh, so riches, divitiae, that, um, that you may use them, utaris, uh, Aes use them or spend them, so utare is an alternate form here for utaris, um, which is going to be a um, from utor, so it's going to be your um, your subjunctive present subjunctive, and deponent, so active meaning, so riches that you may use them, okay, and then we have some again some more interesting vocab opes ut. Uh, colare. Now let me pull up my dictionary forms here. So opes is from ops. Uh, let's see here. Opes is from ops, and in general, ops opis is help, aid, support, assistance, something like that. And you probably memorized it in that sense. But if you look down it on Perseus in um, Lewis and Schwartz dictionary. You'll see uh, one of the kinds of meanings is under 1B. Uh, it means any kind of thing that one possesses. Property, substance, wealth, riches, treasure, military or political resources, might, power, influence, etc. And under uh, this, uh, under this uh, listing, we see that in this passage, it means influence. So here, um, opes, put a little note here. Opes is uh, influence. Uh, it can mean influence, uh, especially when it's plural, which we see here. Opes in the plural from ops in singular. So it means influence here. 
So influence, um, that colare. Colare is again again be a, um, a alternate form for the present subjunctive form, and colare. is from colo to tend till care for or cultivate but if you look at its uh dic- dictionary form in um Lewis and short uh under let's see one well one uh, sorry not one two uh a one so to bestow care upon a thing to care for um to cherish, care for, protect, be the guardian of, worship, etc. These are often in terms of praising the gods. It can also be uh, number four on this dictionary listing in Perseus. With abstract objects to cultivate, cherish, practice. Um, it can be a lot of things. For here, it's going to be something like praise um, or honor. Okay, so... Uh, She'll see, uh, where were we? Ope sut colare, uh, is gonna be put together something like influence that you may be, uh, praised or honored. How about honored? So I'm gonna write that too. Colare, let's say honored here. Um, and again, it's the alternate form for a present subjunctive colaris. Um, so that you may be, so influence, that you may be honored. Okay, then honores ut laudere, so honors in order that you may uh, be praised. Now notice, again, laudere, um, this is not the infinitive, like you might be tempted to think. You notice laudare is the infinitive, present active infinitive. Here we have laudere, um, it's being used alternately for lauderis the present subjunctive passive, uh, second person singular, so honors that you may be praised. Okay, then next, voluptates ut gaudeas. So, uh, voluptas, um, let's say pleasures, uh, pleasures that you may gaudeas, rejoice. Uh, valetudo ut dolore careas at muneribus fungare corporis. Okay, so, uh, let's see, uh, va- valetudo, so, uh, health, right? So that dolore careas. Now, careas, you may or may not know that word already. Careas is from careo. Um, careo means uh, to be free from, uh, to be without. Uh, so let me write that in here a little bit. Um, Careas from Careo. Uh, to be without. Without. And it takes the ablative case. It governs the ablative object. So to be free from dolore, from cares. Or uh, maybe griefs. Um injuries, that kind of thing. So well, or sorry, not wealth, vale tudo. Health, uh, that you may be free from cares, that is physical uh, ailments. And uh, muneribus fungare corporis. Notice we have a note about the fungare. Um, fungare, we have a note, is fungi, takes the ablative, uh, means to perform, to discharge, or to complete. So here, um, so that you may be free from grief and, uh, that you may fungare, uh, discharge, um, to govern the ablative, so muneribus, all the tasks, munus is work, uh, so that you may discharge all the tasks of the body, corporis. Finally, on the other hand, and notice we don't have an actual, uh, adversative uh, conjunction here. Um, but the sense is that we're saying friendship on the other hand, as opposed to all of these other things. So, friendship. Continent res 
plurimas, um, has, possesses, holds many things, many advantages. So for all of these other things, health, uh, wealth, etc., they have one, each of them has one good, one advantage to it. Friendship, he's saying, has many things, and we're going to learn about those. Okay, notice, uh, before I get off of here, uh, all of these oots are with alternate forms of present subjunctives, uh, although gaudeos is the regular form of the subjunctive. But colare, uh, utare, laudere, uh, these are all meant to be present active subjunctives, second person, singular. Okay, and those are purpose clauses. In or, notice I translated it, in order that or that you may. So those are purpose clauses there. All right, so your homework is to finish this paragraph. So we get quoque up to leviores. Uh, if you'd like a help session, I need you to let me know by Tuesday night whether you'd like one. Um, my, my weekends and my even Thursdays and Fridays get very filled up. So if I know ahead of time, I can take time. Uh, I can make sure I have time to do a help session, but I can't on very short notice. All right. Good luck with your reading, and I will see you later.